Hey, you're home. How was your walk? I, I can't even, I can't even really explain what just happened. All right, talk to me. Okay, so do you remember when we were kids, there was that old urban legend that if you went out to the woods alone, you went for a walk alone, this per, this guy would like follow you. What was he called like the oh, uh, the walker? Yeah, right? yeah, 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 yeah. That's yeah. what it is, the walker. Yeah. Okay. So, so. <laughs> This is crazy. I realize how I sound, but I think he's real. And I think I may have found a way to get away from him. Okay, so you ran into the walker on your walk? I think I did. Okay, well, I I just finished the dishes, uh, and I'm ready to hear this story. (laughs) I know know that you're not going to believe me when I tell you this, but I swear to God, everything I'm telling you is true. I believe you believe it, but I'd love to hear the story, so let's hear it. Okay. I parked the car and headed past the old farm silo through the trees and down the hill, past the waterfall. They'd just cleared the land so I could see all the way to the shore and I was completely alone. So gloriously alone. As I walked the trail, absorbed in my podcast and the general niceness of this early spring day, I started to feel a lingering presence behind me, like I was being followed. But when I would look back, no one was there. So I chalked it up to paranoia and headed back up the trail. And then I heard something, the snap of a twig, the crunch of a leaf. I can't even really be sure what caught my attention, but I turned around just in time to see a figure step behind a tree. I wasn't going to wait around to find out if he was friend or foe, so I booked it up the trail as fast as I could run, which as you know, is not very fast. Still. I could sense his presence, but he was nowhere to be found behind me. But somehow, he still managed to appear in front of me at every turn. Now I was in full-on freak-out mode, but every time I'd run, he'd appear in front of me again. And that's when I remembered the old legend about the walker from when we were kids. Run away, the walker will slay, they would say. Walk away to live another day. So walk away, I did. And I may not be able to run very fast, but the walker ate my dust as I raced back towards the parking lot. All the while, he stayed behind me, mindlessly lumbering up that hill. And I didn't know if I was gonna outpace him. I didn't know what my fate would be. That as my car came into view, I had one singular focus. Power walk to safety. Walk away to live another day. For all I know, he's still out there, lumbering without ceasing. I feel so much safer now that I'm home with you. I just feel so safe when I'm home with you. That's crazy. Er, Listen, I'm boiling water in the kitchen right now. I'm making tea. How about I make you some tea? It'll relax you, calm you down. That would be really nice, actually. Thank you. That would be amazing. Literally in five seconds. Okay, great. Thank you. Oh my God, thank you so much. Oh. Oh, it's just, I don't even, I mean, who would do that? Who would do something like that to just some random person out in the woods? It's just, I mean, do you think it was maybe somebody I know or somebody, just a stranger? Or are they doing that to everyone? Just calm down. We'll have some tea and maybe then we can go for a walk. I mean, 
wait a minute. I just went for a walk. That's the whole point of this. I, I just went for a walk. Why would you want to go for another walk? I just, I don't want to go back out there. 